Yeah. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. Look around and then come talk to me. And John, please wipe your mouth. I can smell that egg sandwich all the way over here. Hey, it's a good sandwich, ain't it? What do you say, Galaga? Sure, if you want to drop dead from a heart attack. <laughs> hey man, I'll back you up. They don't know what they're missing. What the fuck crawled up her ass and died? Can I shoot her in the head? Nope. Damn. Hmm. Well, the body's hanging, obviously, but there's also blood everywhere. There's blood on the wall there, blood on a different wall, blood below. If he's the only body, then... What the hell happened? I mean, was he, like... Beat up in one place, and then taken to another corner, and then beat up again, and then hanged? And then he just, like, bled down below? What the hell happened here? Alright, what have you got for me, Terrence? Even my pal and tech guru Terrence Bowlby is here. <laughs> Davies must be really interested in this case, but why? Hey, buddy. How's it going? The Erica herself. I'm trying to finish quickly so I can go get some freaking sleep. I'm a tech geek. I shouldn't be doing all this crap. Where's your team? Uh, there's a lot of shit hitting the department right now, so we're low on manpower. How's it hanging, McCoy? Weird to see the FBI all over this. I don't make the rules, pal. Alright, so who the hell is this person? Any luck identifying our John Doe? Nope. Nothing in the database? Uh, I wish it was that simple. Didn't you look at the body? What about it? Oh, get this. The problem is not that the guy isn't in the database. The problem is that the killer cut the skin off the fingers of our John Doe. Ooh. All I've been able to find is just blood markings everywhere. Thank you, asshole, for making my life easier. DNA? I'll have to take a look at that tomorrow. Alright, so I guess there's no prints then, but I might as well ask about it. Have you gotten any prints? <sighs> Nothing. It's super clean. This person knew what they were doing. Been searching around, but I can't even find a partial. How can the guy who did this struggle so much and not leave any traces behind? The guy knows his shit. So any theories on how the guy was hanged? There are a few marks on the body. They aren't from a struggle with a killer per se, but my theory is that whoever did this had a hell of a time stringing that big guy up. Drag marks? Exactly. It wasn't easy getting him up there. So we're looking at someone smaller than the victim. Probably an average build? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. For one person to, to actually drag and string up another person? That'd be difficult. I mean, he looks, I don't know, average height, average weight, somewhere between 150 and 200 pounds. That'd be extremely difficult. Alright, let's take a look at the body. Poor bastard. Mm, brutal. Suicide? Agent, if it was suicide, I wouldn't be here at 2.30 in the morning. Some people don't have any sense of humor around here. I left it in my bed when I got Davies' call. Is it just me, or does John have a permanent smirk? I hate the look on his face. He also seems to have the whitest teeth I've ever seen anyone have, ever. Brutal. Alright, so where are the wounds on the body, though? I didn't actually see any open wounds. But there had... If, the, if this blood came from him, then there must be huge wounds. But... But I don't see any of the wounds, and I don't see any blood marks on his clothes, even. So... Was he clothed afterwards? Or what? Or was is this blood from someone else? Did the killer use this table to hang the guy? Maybe they used it for leverage. Hmm. 
Is this from the victim? It seems to be from their fingertips. Ugh. All that came from his fingertips? Oh, God. Uh, where does that ladder go? I don't see anything up there, but maybe it's just too dark to see. Maybe there's a hatch or something? I don't know. It looks like he painted over something. Or someone painted over something. The painting looks fresh. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Fair enough. Alright. Let's talk to Dr. Gallagher. Gallagher? Reed. What do we have here? White male, mid-40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging? No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English? Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. Hasn't John been in this job for a while now? Shouldn't he know what that means? Even I knew Any what that signs meant. Of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. Geez, she suddenly turned insulting. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped, but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes, maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. He also defecated. It's another sign of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davy's pinned it on my sandwich. <sighs> Lovely as ever, John. Well, I can appreciate dark humor, John, but... Could you please shut the fuck up? What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. And bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. When did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. Man, it, it seems like almost every single person here has an attitude. It's like they're a big group of bickering children. All right, Gareth, you are the crime scene photographer, I guess? That's Gareth Patterson. When he's not shooting horrors like this one, he's an amazing fine art photographer. Really? Hey, Gareth. Hello, Agent Reed. Okay, that was awkward. Is it just me, or did it sound, did it sound like his voice acting was recorded with a lower quality mic than everyone else's? Hey, Gareth. Hello, Agent Reed. Yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. That's weird. I don't know if I want to talk to her. I've been avoiding Davies lately. I shouldn't be angry with her, but I just can't help it. No, no, I think you should be angry with her, because she's an asshole. 
Davies. Not now, Reed. Go do your job. See? Case in point. Spray paint. I guess I was used to spray that. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Alright, so let's see if I can use my cognition. Oh, hell yeah. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Okay. exactly sure what I just saw. get a grasp on it lately. Uh oh. Died, it's slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Out of control psychic powers are not a good thing. All right, so there's something down here. Look like maybe a cigarette tray, or uh, an ashtray, or something like that. Yeah, I think that is an ashtray. Or not? Hey, John, is... any idea what this is? What is that? No clue. Ask Terrence. Really, you just look at it from ten feet away, glance at it, and say no clue? You don't want to, like, have it in your hand? Alright, Terrence. Hey, Terrence. Yo, E. Did you just call me E? How many nicknames do I have? Alright, there's Red, there's E, and what did John call me? Skippy or something like that? So I have at least three nicknames? I'm just gonna go with Erica, because that's her name. Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is that evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence! Really, I, I... I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. Did he seriously just ask if it has prints? Whilst holding it with his bare hands? Shouldn't everyone be wearing gloves? Terrence, did you notice that wall over there? The paint looks fresh. Yeah, I saw that. I'll have to call someone to come here tomorrow and take a closer look. I seriously don't have time for all this work. Have you talked to Davies about the lack of resources? <laughs> she knows this is BS. I heard that. Uh, all good, boss. I, I got it. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Reed? McCoy? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. We better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. Thank you, Tutorial John, telling me to fully explore the scene before continuing to the next one. 
I, have I missed anything? Spray paint? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, that's everything. Except the ladder. Roof access. Hmm. Should I go to the roof? The roof is a dead end. I don't need to go up. Alright, I think I've talked to everyone. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Now, what have you found? How did the victim die? Uh, suffocation. Suffocation. Who is our John Doe? Wait, I, I can just throw out a random name? Al Williams? Who the hell is Al Williams? It's like, yeah, just just give her a random name. She won't mind, right? It's fucking Tom Cruise. Can't identify vic victim fingerprints. Uh, finger fingertips have been skinned. We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? The killer was smaller than the victim. The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim. The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim, which leads us to believe that the killer is smaller and skinnier than the victim. That's it? That's it. I may point out, however, that Terrence is being overworked, so he's not exactly at the top of his game. When I have questions about how to run my branch, I'll ask you. Anything to add, McCoy? No. Wonderful. Not only are you too late, you're also worthless. Go get some sleep and get your asses to work tomorrow, early. I want to see you in my office as soon as you're in, Reed. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Why are we taking this case? Tomorrow. Now get out of here. Erica. Sir? How are you holding up? Like you give a shit. I'll be fine. Good. Get some rest. I have a bad feeling about this one. Oh, like she's suddenly a kind, caring person? Come on. You called? Erica, I know how much you care about what happened to Scott, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you off the case. Don't do this to me, Davies. I have to. It's been three years. This is bullshit! I'm so close to getting somewhere! No, Erica, you're not. I've seen your reports. You're going in circles. Did my dad put you up to this? Brian's worried about you. Listen, I understand how much this means to you, but it has to stop. I put my job on the line, letting you take on a case in which you're so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your dad. But it's time to move on, Erica. Even your dad agrees. I can't. You have to, Erica. I'm afraid that's an order. I just need a minute. Ugh. What is? My, my visions. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. Do you still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. I'll go tomorrow. 
Go now. She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. That sounds perfectly normal. <laughs> Go on. I'll hit your ride to the office. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that look? Oh my god. She even did a weird thing with her lips. I don't know if that was intentional or an animation bug. But that was weird. weird this screen normally this is a pretty common sort of screen um, in adventure games you know we get to move from town to town location to location but the weird thing is I don't seem to be able to interact with it it just appears and then takes me to the next scene it's kind of kind of strange all right well I guess I'll see if I can uh, get uh, purchase the psychic guidance package for two easy payments of nineteen ninety nine. Rose's shop. The things John gets me into. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the art in this game. It's beautiful. It's still open? Does Rose ever sleep? Hello, my dear. I could feel the spirits were active tonight. I knew someone would appear. Yeah, that'd be me. So, does the shop have the identity problem, or is it you? Very observant. What's a pretty girl like yourself doing out at the witching hour? Special Agent Reed, I'm here to ask you some questions about an antique. My favorite subject, Agent. And you can call me Rose, my dear. Man, look at all these antiques. Beautiful shop. So, you sell antiques? You do not just sell antiques, my dear. I like to see it as a way to preserve these beauties through the generations. But yes, this is an antique shop, among other things. Like what? Reading a crystal ball? If a customer wants to talk to their dear departed mother or father, I am happy to help. Right. Do you read the tarot too? <laughs> I make an honest living agent. Nothing wrong with that. Other than extorting people's hard on money, no. I give people what they want. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Right, my dear? Sure. Whatever. I wanted to ask you about this. Ah, that is strange. What is? This is only a piece of the toy. Ah, yes, it is a Le Pondu, or at least very similar to one. Precious things. Ah, beautiful. A, a what? Le Pondu. It was a line of toys that had their roots in the French Revolution. It is said that those in high society used them at secret parties. Mysterious, do you not think? And some say they used these toys to scare their children into understanding what justice could do to them if they did not follow the rules. Horrible, is it not? So why would a toy like that appear in a crime scene last night? That is your job, my dear. Yeah, why would you ask the shop owner that? What else can you tell me about it? The artifact is indeed old, but it has been modified. The wood is very old, and so is the varnish, but the cuts are new. Is this the only piece you found? Yes. So there are more? Well, yes. And I would say these cuts were made to fit into some other piece. Do you carry these? There is one right there. Oh, perfect. Could this have come from this shop? I have not sold one in a while. But they are not as uncommon as you may think. Do you know of any other shops that may sell them? Toy shops, other antique stores. I bet they show up in those online auctions, too. As I said, they are not all that uncommon. 
I am sorry, my dear. Thanks for the help. Any time, my dear. Now, tell me the real reason why you are here. Well, I'm not gonna lie to her. What's the point? Something's been happening to me. A friend suggested I talk to you about it. Go on. I am listening. I keep having... Visions? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not exactly comfortable. Listen, my dear. You can tell Rose whatever is happening to you. These old bones have seen it all and heard it all. Really? Your bones have ears? You might want to get that looked at. <laughs> I can just walk out. <laughs> Fuck you, Rose. I'm going to leave. Uh, well, I think Rose is totally full of shit, but... Uh... We've got nothing to lose but time. Let's give it a shot. How do you know? Did John McCoy call you? Jean McCoy. Where do I know that name from? Ah, yes. Jean. Another FBI agent. More easygoing. He came here a few years back. Poor soul. He was utterly lost. He loved my coffee. And we used to sit at that table over there. Talking for hours. I would guess you are the girl he told me about. I wish he'd let me deal with this on my own. Sometimes we do need a push, my dear. And here you are, taking the right steps. When did they start? The visions. I will tell you what. Go and sleep on it. Visit your brother tomorrow. Wait, how do you know? Sleep on it. And if you are ready tomorrow, Come back here, and I will show you a few things. All right? We'll see. I could stay up driving all night. I could use the time to think, but I'd better get some sleep tonight. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a long day. Ready to go. I should see what Davies wanted. Oh, do I get to interact now? I do. Sweet. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the item. A piece of the toy. Alright, um, she wanted to see me first thing, so I guess I go downtown. Right? That will take me to the map of downtown Boston. My office and other places of interest are there. All right, let's go speak to Asshole Davies. <laughs> I want, you know, she said she wants to see me first thing, the first, like as soon as I get in. What if I didn't go there first? Like, what if I went to the morgue first? Do you think she'd ream me out for that? But I'll play by the rules. Wall of Fame. So many heroes. Oh my god. How do you pronounce that? Okay, the first name, easy. Ellen. But that? K. Chevaldeoff? Chevaldeoff? Chevaldeoff. Ellen K. Chevaldeoff? Where does that name come from? Chevaldeoff. Is that like. Chevaldeoff? Is it? Sounds maybe Russian? Maybe? I don't know. No, well, I don't recognize any of the names. Trophy case. We keep awards in there. A few of the top shot ones are mine. Nice. Guinevere Graham. Gwen for short. I don't know what we'd do without her. Department admin, office manager, and she's handling evidence these days too. 
Oh, sounds like you need a bigger budget so you can hire more people. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. An increase in responsibility, but no increase in pay. That's the government for you. So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? I just asked that. Hmm. I think, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So I can ask it again and again? Huh. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Let's see if she knows anything about the... What was this? La Pendu? Those two Oops. don't work together. Those two don't work together. I guess she doesn't like La Pendus. Alright, well, I guess I'll go see her first, and then I'll come down and check out the printer and every random item in the room, as I love to do in adventure games. Uh, where's her office, though? I just noticed something. Why does it look like someone just randomly threw these desks down on the ground? They're, they're not aligned. Why, why aren't they aligned? They're just, like, randomly stuck out in the... in the building. That would drive me nuts. Weird. Alright. Oh, there we go. Where is Davies? Are you serious? She wanted me to come to her first thing when I got in, and she's not even in her office? Maybe she's at the morgue? I don't know, let me talk to John, see if he knows. Good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? Uh, good point, actually, absolutely nothing. You are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. Bring me some donuts if you want to help. Will a bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. We'll stop being so good at it. Well, I was supposed to talk to her, but I guess I can ignore her and just do my job. Yay! Had any new thoughts on the hangin' last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes, and it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today, so I can't even have that small comfort. So I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit, but she seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now, before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. 
I think I just asked about the case, didn't I? How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Yep. Well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be... It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case, but the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. All right, let's explore the rest of the office and then go pay a visit to the morgue. It's the FBI's most wanted list. Oh, who's on it? I have no idea who any of these people are. A map of the metropolitan area of Boston. I guess it was useful at one time, like 10 years ago. <laughs> the old vending machine. <laughs> Good thing I like to jog or this thing would be the death of me. All right, so which desk is mine? This one? Oh, yep, yeah, that's mine. And that's Abbott's desk, whoever that is. Let's take a look at this printer. What kind is it? Tell me. How many pages per minute? Uh, looks like a laser printer. Does it print color? That's our printer. Old, but still works. Definitely looks like a laser printer. Alright, I think that's pretty much all there is to the office. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to use my desk, is there? What can I do at my desk? Can I check my email or something? Oh, I think I, I, think I actually can. Let's see what's new today. Hey, Erica. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here, to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. You want to grab lunch later? Uh, um, maybe? Um, not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. Uh, I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah, bring it by. Sure, no problem. Awkward. Another egg sandwich. I'm guessing John left that? Ugh, that looks so unappetizing. Ugh, no thanks. Fair enough. We use that phone only for interagency communications. And that's about the only time I use it. That's Scotty. It's my best picture of him. I can connect to the FBI database through my computer. All right, let's see how this thing works. Email evidence, cases database, and people search. All right, check Read. my email. Terrence mentioned to me that you have found a piece of an antique last night at the crime scene. I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terrence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately either, but I wrote them off up until last night. I'll show it all to you when I get back later today. For now, 
I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davies' office somehow. What, you can't just wait for her to get back? Jeez. Okay, so Davies was sent a piece just like that anonymously? What the hell? That's weird. That's very, very weird. Hey, babe. We haven't spent time together in a while. Was wondering if you'd like to rent a movie and watch it at my place this weekend. Sully. Sully. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me babe? <laughs> uh, can I actually reply? Or can I do anything with them or just read them? Wait, I just, I clicked twice. Shit, did I actually reply? Oh, d she said something, but I skipped it. Damn it. Ah. All right. It's from Terrence Mulby. It's about a party. Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. He's a man of few words. Yo E. Signed T. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there, so that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. Wow, he's really blowing off visiting his son's grave. Dad doesn't really want to hear from me. It's his way of avoiding talking. It's too painful for him, especially today. Yeah, that's understandable. I don't have anything to tell him right now. All right, I think that's it for my email. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. All right, what do we have to search for? Look at the Kane Killer case, which is... I just closed it, right? All right, so the Kane Killer had seven known victims. He was active for about two years. He's white. Probably highly scarred from the burns, yep. Alright, no eyewitness accounts of the killer exists. Only in one incident did a potential victim escape, but no clear sighting of the killer was gained. The potential victim was able to confirm the killer as male, of average height, and build. I guess that would be me? That gave that report? During the incident, the killer came into direct contact with fire, so burn scarring is highly likely, though unverified. Yep, that was definitely the encounter with me. Alright, so the Kane Killer is the nickname given to the perpetrator of a series of ongoing murders beginning in September 2006 and have been linked to a distinct M.O. The nickname Kane Killer originated in a Boston Herald article after the second set of killings in September 2007. With one exception, see, read, Scott. The three sets of killings have all occurred in early September, suggesting they are related to the anniversary of some significant event in the suspect's life. The exact significance is unknown. Okay, so, that's right, she mentioned about that thing on the wall that that was meant for me. And she mentioned that he kills people, uh, like siblings, in pairs. So the, th the three sets of killings have all occurred in early September, so he has seven victims. So he has three sets of two victims, plus, um... Plus, uh, Erica's brother that died. And they've all occurred in early September. What? What's the current date? Hmm. The killer targets a pair of siblings. There's no obvious method to how they're selected, but the siblings are always in male-female pairs, the male always being the one who is initially apprehended. The killer arranges the apprehended male in a presumably self-made murder device. Uh, yep. Each murder device has been different, but similar enough in conception that the presence of such a device is the primary connecting factor in these cases. It seems clear that in each case, the female is given a chance to interact with the device and potentially save the male. Whether, this, whether the success of this is honored remains unclear, but is highly unlikely. Well, definitely, because I was successful with uh, freeing, with freeing uh, her brother from the device, and he still died. The technical aptitude of the devices suggests a high intelligence on the perpetrator's part, as well as a possible career in a field requiring a similar skill set. Uh, example, mechanic, uh, mechanic, electrician, engineer, 
The full psych profile suggests it is the killer's sense of mastery that is at play here. That he tests others using his construction um, seems to further back this up. That male siblings are the initial target suggests he himself may have a dysfunctional relationship with a sister and is seeking resolution through these killings. Okay. Good to know. Can I just search for random stuff? I'm, I'm guessing this is meant to be used to solve puzzles later in the game when I'm like trying to create connections between cases and stuff. But let's just give it a shot. Alright. <laughs> what? Okay, let's look for natural deaths of werewolves. This is a waste of my time. I'm not looking for anything at the moment. Oh, so there's no natural werewolf uh, werewolf deaths in the database of the FBI? Okay. I don't have any evidence to look at right now. Alright, so yeah, there's nothing I can do here until I have something to work with. So, let's go on down to the morgue. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. It's weird that the loading screens take so long because the game is graphically very simple. Damn. There's a lot of places I can go. Alright, well this is where I'm at. I can go to accounting? What would... Uh, I don't know, let's go. Accounting is up there. No, thank you. I didn't think so. Alright, let's go to the parking garage. And let's head to the morgue. The hell is Terrence doing at the front desk? Isn't he more of a lab guy? So they weren't kidding. They moved the forensics here. I guess Gallagher doesn't really need a secretary. I wonder if they fired Susie, her last receptionist. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance then. Terrence, <laughs> you're my one true love. Alright, so, yeah, why... Uh, you're a lab guy. Why are you at the front desk of the morgue? So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. Mm, Lockpicks? What? I need lockpicks. I do? I'll need to see you put your thumb on your nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. What? If you're gonna ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. True that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights for me. <laughs> so again, why do I need lockpicks? I mean, I'm sure they're gonna come in handy. I mean, an adventure game? Locked doors? Come on. But still, I don't know why I need them. I guess I'll find out. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. So this antique has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch- Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning. Yeah, she mentioned something. 
Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Fine, I'll scratch you. <laughs> what am I good for? Oh, it's just that... Gallagher's being a real pain in the butt about my equipment. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no other place to put it. And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do? You got it. Alright, I'll work my magic. Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim, nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. See you later. Alligator! Alright, so let's go talk to Gallagher. Although it sounds like maybe there's nothing more to know about the body, or he would have told me, but still, I'm gonna go see if I can go talk to her. Agent Reed. Gallagher? Really? So you thought the morgue wasn't creepy enough, but you decided... You decided to add a little... radio that isn't actually quite on a station, so it sounds all staticky and kind of creepy? That's great. Can I please turn that off? Where is it? Damn it. I can't turn it off. It's really not the body so much as the death that makes this place so depressing. Who are you, John Doe? No, what is that? Is that a... Is that a tattoo or is... It actually looks more like a... A brand. Looks like it's been burnt into him. Some sort of a symbol. I wonder if it has any significance. If you have any questions about the body, please ask me. Ugh. There's the cut up fingertips. His fingers have been skinned and mutilated. Whoever did this went to a lot of trouble to hide his identity from us. What's this? This wound is recent. Is there... Oh, is there something inside of him? Oh, is there like a piece of that toy inside of him, maybe? There's something not quite right here. Could it be a bone or something else? Ugh. Well, I should take a picture of him. Can I? Using my phone? Oh, there we go. Excuse me, I'm just gonna post this on my Twitter account. That should do. Anything else I should take a picture of? Uh, let's get the tattoo, definitely. Do you mind? Go ahead. I can look that up in the database, probably. Uh, that's probably all I need to take a picture of. Uh, maybe his hand? No. For true brands, I don't think so. No. Nope. Alright, let's see what she's found. How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Alright, what have you found? Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? 
it was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials, like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst, but the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with the lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. That's a horrible way to go. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We set a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's going to take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. Is there anything you can tell me about the tattoo? It's brand new. 24 hours old at most. Do you think it was the work of the killer? Given the estimated time of death, it's possible. It was completed within a few hours of the death at most. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I can get from it. Have you checked this on the body already? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Will you? As you wish. Here we go. Well, now that's unusual. What the hell? I thought that so. looks like a piece of the antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. Make sure that good-for-nothing Bowlby knows of its existence. You know, I'm not gonna complain, but why is it perfectly clean? Wouldn't it be covered in, like, gore and stuff? Ugh. How's life treating you, Galaga? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. God, everyone's such an asshole. Terrence mentioned something about wanting to use the storage? Yes, he's being a pest as always. Why won't you play nice? If he feels welcome, he'll never leave. And that would be unacceptable. So you won't reconsider about Terrence using the storage? Without a direct order? No. Which you, of course, are not authorized to give me. Now can I get back to work? I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Hmm. Without an official order. I have an idea forming. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is so illegal and stupid, I don't know why anyone would do this, but... Maybe I can use a lockpick to get into my boss's office and send an email from her computer to Gallagher, telling her to play nice with Bulby. <laughs> you would get fired so fast if you actually did that and anyone found out. But, let's try it. Wait, what the hell is this? Gallagher prefers her old-style tape recorder. Oh, one of those things. Tools of the coroner's trade. Well, do I have a bag to put this in? She's not just gonna put this in her pocket, is it? It was just inside of a human being. Please tell me you put that in a bag. Please. Nope. Uh, apparently I'm just, I'm just shoving it in my coat pocket. All right, well, let's combine these. I wonder how these go together. There we go. 
Now what? I don't know. Good question. How, how the hell do these toys work? It's from something called a... a Le Pondu? Hmm. Maybe uh, using my phone I can search the internet for how the hell it works? I don't know. It's supposed to be a toy of some sort, so there must be some way I can interact with it. Alright, let's get the hell out of this creepy place. Good day, Gallagher. Yeah, actually, let's use the phone. See if I can search the internet. I still, I'm curious what that is, but I don't want to click it just yet. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. <laughs> what about music? I don't have time for music right now. I normally listen to it when I'm going to bed. Fair enough. What am I doing? That's not what I'm looking for. What's not what you're looking for? I didn't even search for anything. How do I... Oh, I guess I can't even search for anything? Hmm. Okay. Alright, been to the morgue, been to the Boston HQ. Uh, let's go back to the crime scene. It's still loading. I don't, I don't understand what it's loading. I mean, everything that could load was already up. All right, let's see All what's right. what. Now that it's quiet, I should see if I can use these visions of mine to find more clues. Exactly what I was going to say. Why is there just green paint here? This was here last night, and it looked fresh. Oh, this must be the one he, that the person used. It's the only green one. Some graffiti cans. This one is green. Hmm. The color is green. Number GK4893. Am I gonna need that number? Hmm. The color is green. Number GK4893. It's weird that you would mention it if I don't need it, so I just wrote it down, just in case. Whoops. Alright, let's take a look at this. Oh god. Okay, I don't think this is going to work right now. I think I need to go back to the antique shop before I can do this. But before I do that, why don't I go to my brother's grave? All right, I'll just steal them from someone's grave. Yeah, look at the art. It's so beautiful. I love the hand-painted background art. All right, which one is it? Here we go. The graves have a certain beauty to them, and it all feels so peaceful. It's weird that I can feel this here, especially after what happened here three years ago. I don't think graves are peaceful, I just think they're extremely depressing. In the loving memory of Maximilian. 
Well, Maximilian, something tells me after I take the flowers from your grave, you're still going to be dead, so... Please don't be angry with me. Actually, you can't be angry with me, because you're dead. Yoink. This is terrible. But no one will miss it. I hope. They'll never notice. we go, a lovely flower to honor <laughs> my brother's sad. memory. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. Freaking leaves are everywhere. I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case, but Davies closed it. And there's nothing I can do about it. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. <sighs> well, how are you? How are things on the other side? <laughs> I'll come more often, and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother, too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And you are... Cordelia. I'm so embarrassed, Cordelia. I'll pay for a wreath. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. It was just funny. You were so natural at it. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes, well, I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be over there. I had no idea someone would be so cool with me stealing flowers from their sibling's grave. What a nice person, and what a horrible person I am. <laughs> hey there. Hi, Erica. You look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes, I even sneak in at night. <laughs> really? Wow. That's... dedication. I take care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. Or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Has it gotten better? A little. It's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Are you a cop? FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. I have to go now. Well, hey, you seem all right. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. <laughs> I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. <laughs> uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? I'm trying to figure out if I want to. You should. She's really something special. Hmm. Thanks. 
Oh, she took the pain away. I didn't know she was also a marijuana dealer. Antiques? Um, psychic services? And drug dealer. Does she have any other skills? Does she sell ex high explosives and military arms, too? Alright, let me save the game. I actually have no idea if this game auto-saves, so it's possible that if the game crashed right now, I'd lose like an hour of progress. That scares me. I'm going to save it. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, but... Um, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's It started out really rough, but it's definitely evened out. And from what I've heard, the next episode is even better. And there's just a lot to like. It's got It's got really good voice acting. Like, the lowest level of voice acting is decent, and most are really good, and some people are extremely good. Like, the whoever voice acts Erica Reed, and the woman I just talked to, and I think there's someone else. And Gallagher, they're really good voice actors. And the art, aside from the character models, the art is really beautiful. Just wonderful hand-painted. The cutscenes look great. So, yeah, I'm loving it so far. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.